I am Samantha Rosenberg from Sunrise Day Camp Long Island. Today we are going to get to meet one of my favorite artists and a good friend of our camp, Corey Page of Corey Page Designs. I love her awesome creations. She actually designed the pattern for this shirt for Carnival Day. How cool is that? She also made the pattern on these leggings. She also makes so much other apparel with different patterns for kids of all ages, as well as coloring sheets. You can color these coloring sheets in whenever you want in your free time. They're so much fun. So guess what? We're about to have a drawing session with Corey herself. So whether you are an artist or not, get a paper and pencil ready and have fun drawing. My name is Corey Page Bloomberg and I'm an artist and a graphic designer. Did you like to see how I make some of my artwork? Today I showed you a video of me drawing on my iPad with my Apple Pencil using an app called Procreate. I love drawing on my iPad to make art for fun, but I actually have my own business called Corey Page Designs. I've always loved to draw, but actually while I was in college, I started my own company and here are some examples of the clothing and accessories that I sell. Another avenue of my business is giving drawing lessons and tutorials, so I hope you liked watching that fun video, but you can actually draw your own design on a paper and pen. You don't need an iPad or an Apple Pencil, so take out your pens and paper and start drawing. I hope that you continue to draw. It's so relaxing and fun and you can create whatever you like. If you want to make your own coloring sheet, just take out a paper and a pencil, make your design, and trace it with a sharpie. You can even draw on shoes, hats, a t-shirt, really whatever you want. Whether you like to color or draw, make sure to have fun with it and always put a smile on. Sunrise Day Camp Pearl River and Sunrise on Wheels, New Jersey. Didn't you think Corey Page's drawing video was so cool? Well, today we are going to draw what Corey taught us together. All you're going to need is some paper, any color works, a pencil, an eraser, and some coloring supplies. I'm using markers, but you can use crayons or colored pencils. Whatever you have works perfectly fine. In her video, she wrote out the words, be happy. So I'm going to do that too. Let's get started. Feel free to pause this video whenever you need. Remember, take your time and erase if necessary. So first, we are going to start off with the letter B. You're going to draw a straight line about that long. Next, you're going to draw two lines, one at the bottom and one at the top, like this. Then you're going to draw a line connecting the bottom line. Once you have that line, you're going to draw a backwards C. Once you have that backward C drawn, you're going to connect the top line with that line. To finish the B, you'll draw a circle inside. And now you have the letter B. For the E, we're going to draw a line in the middle of the circle of the B, and then you're going to draw a half circle to hit the center of the B. And then you're going to find where the E would come out and draw a line. 
and then you draw a line up and then connect the two lines. You can either draw a circle, a triangle, or a half circle inside the E. And now you have your letter E. For the H, you're going to draw the same line you did for the B. And then you're only going to draw one bottom line. This part is fun. You're going to draw an upside down U. You're going to go a little past the line that you drew. And then you're going to draw a line again. And then you're going to go up around again. Next, you're going to draw a small line on the top. And then you're going to connect the two lines. And you have your H. To start the A, you're going to draw a line as long as the curve to the bottom of the H. At the top of the line, you're going to draw a line to the left and then a line pointing downwards. Once you have this line, you're going to make a big C. At the end of the C, you're going to draw a line downwards and connect the two lines. And then you're going to draw a circle in the middle and you have your A completed. For the letter P, you're going to draw a line from the top of the A to the bottom of the H. Once you have that line, you're going to draw a line to the right and then draw a line going upwards and stop at the bottom of the A. And then you're going to draw a backwards C and stop where you see the original line. And then you're going to draw a line upward and then down to connect them. And then you draw a circle and you have your finished P. For the second P, you're going to start by making a line upwards, over, and down from the top of the P, and then you're going to draw a big backward C, just like the first P. And then you're going to draw a line downwards from the end of the C, connect them, and send the line back up to the P. And then you have a circle in the middle to finish the P, and now you have your second P. You're going to do the same thing you did for the Y that you did for the P. Once you have those lines, you're going to draw a U, and then draw a line connecting that U. And then once you have that line, you're going to draw a line and curve it at the end all the way down. And you're going to draw a line there and then send it back up to the Y. And then you're going to go off that Y and do a little half circle. And now you have the words be happy. So now we're going to add some designs. First, I'm going to outline the letters just like Corey did in her video. So I start with where the letter B was and I drew a line next to it. And then I just continued that line all throughout the rest of the letters. You can get creative with this. You can make them as close or as far as you want them from the letters. You can do zigzags instead of straight lines. You can do circles instead. It's totally up to you. Instead of continuing from the end of the Y, I went back to the top so I can make some curves around the B and the E. How's it going so far? Do you like the way it looks? So then I'm going to finish the outline by connecting the line at the top of the Y and the line at the bottom of the Y. Now we're going to add some drips from the bottom, just like Corey did in her video. So you're going to go to the bottom box and you're just going to draw some drips. Again, you can get creative with this. You can do as many or as little as you want or not do it at all. It's totally up to you. So for my drips, I draw a line down and a line up and a line down and a line up. It's a, an alternating pattern. You can make it however you like, and it looks really cool in the end. It looks great so far. So now we're going to draw a sun. So you're going to go to the corner where the B and the H are, and you're just going to draw a half circle. Off those half circles, you're going to draw some triangles. I did an alternating pattern, but you don't have to do that. You could do whatever you'd like. So I did a big triangle, and then a small triangle, and then a big triangle, and then another small triangle, and then a big triangle. And then to finish it, I did a small triangle, and now you have a sun. Next, I did the heart above the E. The bottom part of the heart is hidden, but you don't have to hide it. And you can make the heart as big or as small as you like. It looks great. So now once you have the heart done, you're going to make a big circle for the smiley face. You're going to connect the lines so it looks like the heart is in front of the smiley face. For the eyes, you're just going to draw two circles. You can make them circles, squares, whatever you want. And then you're just going to draw a smile to finish your smiley face. 
So now we're going to draw a flower in the corner. So you're going to draw a half circle, just like that. And then you're going to draw the petals. I did mine as circles, but you can do it any shape you'd like. You just start from the base of the circle and draw a little circle coming off of it. Perfect. Next to the flower, I drew a heart, just like I did at the top of the E. You can make it as big or as small as you like. Next, we're going to draw the lightning bolt. The lightning bolt is going to go in between the two hearts. So to draw the lightning bolt, you're going to draw an L on an angle and then a line connecting off of that. And then you're going to take the line and draw it back up, make a line, and then connect it. I'm not very good at drawing lightning bolts, so I had to erase it and do it again. Don't be afraid to erase if you have to. Practice makes perfect. So I'm making my lightning bolt again, and it looks better than it did the first time. For the final design, we're going to draw a flower. So you're going to draw a circle right next to the lightning bolt. You can make it as close or as far as you want. It depends how much you want the lightning bolt to overlap. So then you're just going to do what we did for the other circle and draw some circles coming off of the center circle. We're going to go around in the circle and just continue to draw the petals. See, I have my lightning bolt only covering one petal. And then I draw my final petal and I'm done. Just like in Corey's video, you can outline everything with a black marker and then give it some color. This is what mine looks like after I outlined and colored it. I used the colors to match my sunrise shirt. Now that you know how to draw these letters, you can try some new ideas. You can write your name, your initials, sunrise, aurora, or horizon. The opportunities are endless. Bye! Hey everyone, it's Amy from Sunrise Day Camp Pearl River. That drawing lesson was amazing. Drawing and coloring can be so relaxing and fun. I like to listen to music sometimes when I draw or color. Do you? Well, if you want some really cool coloring pages for Sunrise, Aurora, and Horizon Day Camp, Corey made them for you. Her site will be posted on the screen after this video, so you'll just go to her site, click Featured on the top, then Coloring Sheets, then Sunrise Day Camp, and you can download them for free. Have fun coloring and drawing. Make sure that you subscribe to this page and like the video, and remember that a new Sunrise on Screens video is coming your way very soon. Bye everyone, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see all of you so soon.